So here we are again, trying to get out of Pukeville. I've visited this place too many times. There's a straight ticket there. In fairness, I've shot these LWs, Tally LWs, Kimber Montana 8400, seven with them. Got more than three shots run through it, in case you're wondering. Uh, these rings have not failed, but uh, as of yesterday, I failed eight sets. Though I've only had maybe three dozen, you know, percentages, easy pass. So, <clears throat> the typical cure always has been DDs. And, and the reason I, me, we got away from DDs was weight. Uh, you know, the light bug come around, I chased it, everybody chased it, scope stocks, uh, all that shit. And, and, and the greatest thing learned is uh, you can drop contour, you can drop length, doesn't make a fuck, as long as your scope bases and rings hold pat and you're wasting a good bullet. Comes back to dope, you know. So uh, bullets, 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 chain rings are moot, but uh, scopes are for fucking steering bullets. If you got a weak link in that system, you're done. You give a fuck who you are, how you do it, you're done. So this is how we curtail that. So, got the Brillo pad. I fucked up my put away. Tap die set. So, Brillo off paint off the receiver bridge just to make sure there's no high spot, low spot. And, uh, you know, I got a nice atmosphere here to do some shit. I've been outside once or twice. Got a little galvanic corrosion. Little uh, galvanic corrosion. Some call electrolysis. Everybody's right. Then, uh, chase threads with a tap, fore and aft. Want to stay away from the barrel shank, you don't want to deadhead that and get ugly, whatever. Starting fluid, blow it all out, you're cool, it will clean. So I gooped it the right the fuck up with uh, fingernail polish. Use whatever you want for an adhesive or that's your business, I'm not getting into it. I've never had anything that was uh, stayed in place too well for me, but I've had a lot of shit that moved. Rifles shoot loose, they do not shoot tight. Hint. Anyhow, so we're, uh, we're screwed glued, we're looking cool here. Now it's a matter of orienting the, the dual dovetail square. Check it with a, a actual, uh, not a level, but I, I, I've got a ruler that's straighter than fucking who knows what, a laser on the top, and then I can see any anomalies. I know this receiver to be square because, you know, it's my receiver. It's not, not something I just got on a bet yesterday on a whim and pulling out my ass. Been there, done that. It's a peach. Pack number nine, contour dupe. It's a fucking hammer with 180 ELDs. So transitioning from 162 at max to 180 ELDs here with a six power fix fucker, which, uh, you know, never seen one burp bobble or fucking get weird. And, and I've only, no, oh, I doubt I got, I don't think I have 70 yet. I've only shot mm, 150, whatever. But uh, I've yet to see one get weird. Maybe that'll be the guy. If it does, believe me, I will say fucking so. But we're gonna yield the poor boys uh, 2,000 yard rifle. Poor boy being you can spend a lot of money, a lot more stupid, to get a whole bunch fucking less. So I've got them on both sides of the cart. Wind's tough, weather's tough like yesterday. Uh, you know, I was over five mils at 1,250 yards with both 162s and 147 ELDs uh, and a short action seven and a long action 264. Been blowing gusts of better than 70 for the last three days. Got a little shit to compare. 